So it's a beautiful day. The last day of February 2022 on a Sunday. And what does a GPU head do? Yeah, he goes inside and installs more GPUs. Come on. That's a future project, that PDU. Make sure you're subscribed so you can catch that when it comes out. So let's get this all turned off so you guys can hear me better and I'll show you what we're installing today. So in this box is from CryptoShape and I did not buy them outright. We actually did a direct trade and it worked out beautifully for both of us. His strategy this year is to get the most mega hash he possibly can on ETH. And I am chasing more efficiency numbers. Don't get me wrong. I definitely want more hash rate. But at the same time, some of my cards are getting a little old. And I want to get more on the higher efficiency curve of mining. So, with that being said, I traded him two of my 5700 XTs and two of my 578 gig Polaris cards and in return he sent me this now some people would say this was a bad trade personally everyone has their own opinions they have their own end games of what they want to do this works out beautifully for me and I like the end game I'll show you why in a second okay first off ASRock Challenger 6600 XT and then two Sapphire 6600 XTs. One and two. Let's get this box out of the way. So yes, with getting these three cards here, I'm definitely taking a mega hash hit, but I'm also gaining efficiency. These cards are much more efficient. Now, with the 25700 XTs and the 2578 gigs, I was getting around 165 mega hash. These three cards combined is roughly 30, 60, 90, plus a little extra, probably like 93 mega hash. So I definitely took a massive hit in mega hash, but I save a lot of electricity. Not to mention also with the advent of dual mining around, even on non LHR cards. Remember, AMD equals no LHR. You can dual mine on these quite easily with a lefium. These car the cores on these, even though they're budget cards, are so much better when it comes to core mining. Literally on the 578 gigs, uh, I would get maybe 800 mega hash on a left. Oh, no, sorry, that was Tong. No, Tong coin, I would get like 800 mega hash. These ones, I get like 1.6 on Tong, and then a left it has the same amount of jump. So these cores are much stronger and even more efficient when you're doing core mining. So you can't beat it really in the long term. I want to get more of these. So let's go ahead, get these out of the way, pull out Octominer number two and bring it on over here. And we're going to install these three cards where the four originally was. Now as we come in closer, you can see I still have two more of the ASRock 6600 XTs here and then two 5500 XTs. I have four more spots available, so we're going to fill three of those today. Let's go ahead and get these installed. And that's all there really is to it. I moved my two 5500 XTs over here. I wanted to have three Azrocks. That's the first time I've had three matching cards together. The two Sapphires and the two 5500 XTs. So, and I have one slot still available. 
And you can also tell I had 5700 XTs in here because I had to re-zip tie the second 8-pin off to the side because 6600 XTs only need a single 8-pin. They don't need duels like the 5700 XTs did. Let's get this closed up, back into the rack, and let's do some tuning on Hive OS real quick. So we got Octo2 back into the server rack, and it's running, and it took about a half an hour to get it tuned. So, with that being done, if we take a look here, we can see our original Ethereum hash rate was 120.3. We are now doing 218.1. So we gained about 97 mega hash from not having those cards installed. Nice. A lot less power draw, too. Now, on Alephium, since we're dual mining, now we're getting 2.662 giga hash. We were getting 1.173. That's a big jump in mega hash on those cores because each one's getting just shy of 500, except for a few that are getting 500. 495 on a Sapphire, 494 on a Sapphire, and then the uh, Azrocks, the first three, 490, 500, 494 on a Lefium. I couldn't really get those type of scores on a 5700 XT or a Polaris. It was maybe a half or two-thirds of that. So I definitely got a nice increase there as well. So that's basically all I got going on for this year. I want to upgrade my older cards into newer, efficient cards. The only other ones I have now are the Vegas. They served me great last year when I was doing ergo mining with them, and they would get massive amounts of hash strength. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore, so I probably will be trading out those Vegas in a few months and getting more efficient, newer cards for that as well. I want to try to keep that rig AMD, but we'll see what the market prices go at that time. So thanks for watching all the way through the video. Come say hi at Mining Misfits Discord. Link is down in the video description, and I will see you on the next video.